In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10, not 5, but 10 facts that you may or may not have known about me. Hey y'all, welcome back to Rock for Rock, Rock for Rock, Rock, Rock Natural. And I'm so excited to be doing this video because I really feel like on my channel I haven't really opened up as much to let you all know who I am personally. So in this video, I want to be sharing with you 10 facts that you may or may not have known about me. If you're new to my channel, you may not know these facts. If you've been following me for a while, you may have heard me talk about them throughout my videos. But I'm spilling all the tea, so make sure you got your snacks and let's get right into it. Okay, so who's ready for this video? Make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss out on any of these things. So I had to write them down on my phone. But fact number one. So <laughs> these facts are kind of all over the place and they were just things that I thought of that I thought would be interesting and that you all would find interesting. So the first thing is I'm left-handed. So you really can't tell in my videos or maybe you can i do use my left hand a lot but i also switch into use my right hand but i am predominantly left-handed it's interesting though because i do text with my right hand at work i use my mouse with my right hand and so although this is my dominant hand i feel like i can use both pretty simultaneously the only thing i really can't do is writing the next fact about me is I currently live in Colorado. There's like two facts that go in with this one. So the first one is I'm originally from Dallas, Texas. I was born there and then shortly moved to Colorado. So I lived in Dallas for maybe like two years, but a lot of my family still lives in Texas. So that is where I'm from. And I go back and visit all of them. The fact that's gonna follow up behind this is that I, graduated from CSU so this is fact number three graduated from CSU for Collins and where my Rams at leave make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me where what college you went to or if you're not in college what college you plan to attend or if you're not attending any college let me know what you're up to these days and then fact number four is Right after college, I moved to New Orleans. And so a bunch of my videos on my YouTube channel are filmed in New Orleans um, between the two spots that I lived in. And even when I was living with my friend for a little bit, um, I filmed so many videos there and my hair was thriving, okay? Let me tell you, thriving. So when I first moved there, that's about the time when I started to make my YouTube channel. So if you've been here since the very beginning, shout out to you. Make sure you leave a comment down below so we can chat. And so those are the four facts. Fact number five, I need to look at my... So now we're going into a little bit more, uh, not personal, but more about like my family. So like I said, I am from Dallas and I have four sisters and one brother and I am the second oldest. And I feel like I really don't ever talk about my family or share my family on YouTube. But if you do follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know I'm always talking about my nieces and nephews who are from my siblings. And so if you're not already, be sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's rock underscore natural. Or you can follow me on Facebook, which is Raquel. Robertson. Like I said, I am the second oldest and my siblings have all are living in other places. My older sister lives in Kansas. My two younger sisters live, live in New Mexico. And then my little brother does still live in Denver with me. But when I was gone, there was no one here but him. So we're all growing up and venturing off. Okay, so this will go back. So interesting fact about me. So we're on now we're on fact number six. I started doing hair, braiding hair when I was 11 years old. And this is interesting because that's when I started doing my siblings hair. Let me tell you now. They trusted me, but I had them out here low key looking crazy. I wish I had some photos, but I started doing hair when I was 11. I really, braiding in particular, I really taught myself, but I also learned some skills from like my mom and my grandma. Um, but I really would say I taught myself and it's 
starting it started at such a young age and so i still do it till this day if you're in the denver area and you need your hair braided be sure to check out my website below and book me for your next appointment okay the next thing if you didn't know about me is my favorite color is purple and you may or may not been able to tell that just from like the branding my logo is purple and I love purple. It used to be like a darker purple, but now it's more of like a lavender-ish color as I get older. That's just more appealing to the eye. Um, so now we are on, so I said eight of them, nine. I have a whole video on this. So if you are new and you don't know about this, I'm going to make sure to leave the card in the, or leave, put a card here and put the video in the description below. But I was in a movie as an extra and this was part of my time when I was in New Orleans. New Orleans is considered the second Hollywood because they filmed so many movies there because of the culture that New Orleans has and so I just randomly, it was just something I wanted to do and so I found a gig, booked it and it was intense but I'm not going to go into the whole um the whole experience right now just be sure to check out that video so you can get all the details if that's something you are interested in doing the last tip or the last fact <laughs> um is that surprisingly i didn't start really wearing makeup until four or five years ago so when i maybe it wasn't even that long for maybe i would say like four years so obviously like when i was in college i would put on some mascara here mascara there and you know maybe do my eyebrows and then throw on some lipstick and call it a day i was so scared of everything else that came along with it and i was just like i don't really need to wear makeup i'm more of like a natural gal <laughs> if that's what you would say one of my younger sisters were actually was actually more into makeup than i was um, and so it was just interesting how that all shifted. But a few years ago when I attended cosmetology school, they were like, you need to come with your face done every day. And I was like, what? Like I don't do, I don't wear makeup. And so it was an interesting experience. And I mean, I soon fall, fell in love with it and realized that hair and makeup together is a great combination as far as like work. So I do also do makeup currently. I'm always learning, always evolving because like I said, I haven't been doing it for years. Like some people, some people have been doing it since they were in high school and now, you know, they're full blown. I've just started doing it more recently and I'm always learning daily, bettering my skills, all of the above. That's really with anything that I'm doing. If you haven't seen my most recent video, be sure to check it out here. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I really hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about me. And I really want to, going forward, do more talking videos and get ready with me videos where I'm sharing more of my life just so you all will feel part of the team, okay? Be sure to leave a comment down below and I will see you in my next upload. Ta -da.